Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video. A series of videos where I take a look at some more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. Once again, apologies for the boiler clock and the ticking sign from the actual boiler itself, you may hear, but apparently everyone else in this house is freezing their freezing. Apparently it starts with a TH. It's freezing their collective nuts off right now. Not so me, but I'll tell you how hot it is outside when we get to the weather because it's been a very interesting week for the weather anyway what do i want to try this week well as always you already know because it's in the bloody title and it's in the thumbnail i want to try they're available from uh, i'm dying already i'm absolutely dying already they're available from audi and um, basically um roosters gastro flaming hot chicken thigh burgers it's only a two chili rating as you know i generally do not get out of bed for any less than the three chili rating but Again, if you've read the title, you will know that there is a reason I am trying these. Now, basically, when I was at work last week, whenever I go to lunch, I read the papers uh, on my phone. I obviously read the digital form of the papers on my phone. And when I open up Google, I really am dying here already. There's a deafness Pavlov's dog in my head problem isn't there when it comes to frozen food anyway whenever i open google you always get like on the front page a bunch of stories that are making the news or anything like that and um according to the it was the, the manchester daily something i don't know what paper it was because i don't live in manchester but they did an article on a bloke on tiktok don't know who he is because I don't have TikTok, nor do I want TikTok. It's basically just a big fat fucking data mining platform for China. But if it wasn't for this article, you know, because of TikTok, there was this article. And if it wasn't for this article, I wouldn't be here trying this. Anyway, they saw this TikTok as show you how to make a burger that, um, according to, don't know what his sources are, um, is, according to him, is exactly the same as the McDonald's muck spicy so that is my favorite mcdonald's burger so i'm i'm all over that and uh i was reading through the comment section and um basically a whole bunch of people saying oh my god this is fantastic because what does this cost i don't know what this costs i did keep the receipt this costs two pounds 45 two pounds 45 for two thigh burgers and that would be 330 degrees degrees 330 grams i'm starving as always i cannot think when i am starving so anyway a bunch of people uh, left comments on it saying because this part of the newspaper in google whatever it was you could leave comments saying oh my god thank you for this i love them look spicy now i can have one something at home that's exactly the same as this so the actual article in the newspaper was people are flocking to Audi to buy a burger that's exactly the same as the McSpicy. If you live under a rock, um, let me explain to you what the McSpicy is. The McSpicy, I believe, as far as I can tell, was a burger that began in Singapore and it's a thigh burger, but in the UK it's a breast um, burger and whatever seasoning they use on the outside, for at least for them apparently, it's, it's got a nickname which means in their language it's the muck diarrhea. It's not that hot. Um, but yeah, it's um, whatever is in the outside crust, breadcrumbs or whatever, um, it's supposedly on Scoville rating 5,000 to 10,000, which is hotter than a jalapeno. Jalapenos aren't that hot, let's be honest, but I don't know if I go as far as to say that, that it's that hot when I tried the UK one. And then also I had one last Wednesday, so it's fresh, fresh in my mind and fresh in my taste buds, if you will, what it tastes like for me to do a comparison of. Better preheat the old um, air fryer because that was it. The um, one of the TikToker is he's someone who only does air fryer meals, and so that was another thing, a big staple thing, which is 
you know. Um, it's exactly the same as McDonald's, but you can cook it at home for, you know, in your air fryer. So anyway, right, now, the McSpicy was a limited run burger. I have actually reviewed it in this series of videos and I quite liked it. It's warm, it's not nuclear, it's warm. It's certainly warm for a, um, you know, high street fast food restaurant, I would say, because, it, like, obviously it's not anything compared to a curry house, but you know what I mean. I would say it's hotter than a Zinger burger, and, you know, definitely hotter than a Zinger burger. But it's not nuclear, but then I am a refined ninja when it comes to heat. But I do like it because it is warm, um, and it's just a really, really nice, it's easily their best chicken burger, and it was a limited run, but in February, they announced that it's becoming a permanent addition, apologies for that noise, it's a fucking acapella of clocks going on over there at the moment, yeah, um, it's made, it's returned, um, permanently to the menu, as permanent as anything is, uh, on the permanent menu in McDonald's, because let's be honest, if people complain about it, they'll take it away. I, it's my favourite burger at McDonald's, it's definitely my favourite chicken burger at McDonald's. Um, my favourite burger that they did, well, that was hot, was the um, spicy Big Mac, but, I'm uh, not spicy Big Mac, that would be fucking awesome, get on that McDonald's. Spicy quarter pounder, they got taken off the menu early, it was only a limited edition, but it got pulled from the menu early, because a bunch of people complained about it being too spicy. It's a fucking burger, that's got the words, spicy, hot and spicy in its title, and you bought it and you didn't like it because unlike other Big Macs, it was too spicy. You're fucking morons, people, and you ruin it for the rest of us. Anyway, so, when I saw this article, I was like, do you know what, I'm going to try that for Fat Friday, because if it is genuinely that identical, and a lot of people are saying it is, I will hold judgment to that, that's the purpose of this video, until I've tried it, then I'm definitely on board with that, as a cheap way to make it at home. So, anyway, obviously um, I will need mayonnaise. I was going to fully dress it, I've got tomatoes, onions and shit like that, but we're going to have to eat it as if we would eat it at McDonald's, so obviously I cut me some iceberg lettuce as well. Got some standard burger buns, haven't got ones with sesame seed on, because I don't really see the fucking point of putting sesame seeds on a burger bun, unless I'm missing out on something really obvious here. I can't really say that it brings any flavour to the party, if you will. So obviously additional cost, but we've always got shit like this knocking around and shit like this and obviously um, fruit and veg, although that's another thing that's pissing me off at the moment, which apparently um, there's a whole bunch of supermarkets that run out of vegetables, or um, due to adverse conditions that are beyond them, but adverse weather conditions, particularly tomatoes. I don't know about you, but I always thought tomatoes were growing in greenhouses, but you know, so how is the best adverse weather condition going to affect them? But the point about these things that annoys me is, there were never any shortages apart from in one or two supermarkets, I think it was Asda and I think it was Morrison's, but then the reason there were shortages everywhere else is because the media had to say, shit your pants everyone, there are fucking shortages. So everyone being a bunch of fucking sheep, like the toilet paper and like bottled water and pasta and shit like that, you know, every time a media outlet tells you that it's a shortage, go fucking flocking there to buy tons and tons and tons and tons of this shit, even though they're not even going to use it or could possibly consume it all before it goes out of date. Well done people, well done. Anyway, anyway. I have, actually let's get this into the oven first, that should do it, apparently 108 degrees celsius, for we care not for the Fahrenheit, I'm not going on what's the uh, cooking instructions on this, I'm going what the bloke said in the TikTok video that was transcribed in the article for whatever, the Herald, the Daily Herald, I don't know, if you live in Manchester, what's your main newspaper with the word the evening, I think it's the evening actually, anyway. We will read a bit of the back quickly. Bring a little inspiration to the table with our irresistible range of ready-to-cook gastro pub favourites crafted with high-quality, carefully sourced ingredients and, of course, always 100% whole chicken fillets, never chopped or shaped. They're already cook, already to cook and served. Yeah, this is like a thing. I think, I think I have reviewed their chicken wings. If I haven't reviewed their chicken wings, I've definitely eaten their chicken wings. But it's their, like, range of frozen shit that's supposed to, you know... Um, represent or replicate pub meals, but I don't think I've ever been in a pub that's done a hot and spicy chicken burger before. Anyway, what are the ingredients? Anyway, it does say oven, uh, fan oven in 180 degrees Celsius, for we care not for the Fahrenheit, um, for 35 minutes. That's if I was doing it in that bad boy over there, but I am not. And then ingredients. So, I can't be asked to read it. There you go, get some of that in your life, bosh, bang, and shit. Right, so, um, oh, and the traffic lights, obviously as it's chicken, 
pretty much jobs are good and all the way across. All right, amber's not the best, I am aware of that. But So fuck it, let's get it out. There's some weight to them, actually. There is some weight. So these are like, what, £1.30 something. Um, each, you know. So what is a... Um, a We'll keep that, we'll keep that for the uh, before and after. What is a McSpicy in, sorry about the shoes, in McDonald's? I can't remember, I ain't got a Scooby, but it's probably £5.90, pushed in six quid for a meal. So these are exactly the same. Um, yeah, job's a good one. Right, so I'm going to put both of them because I can't be asked to put it back in, I'm dying here, in our, <clears throat> in our freezer because place is a premium, but... They smell quite pokey. Whether or not they are pokey, look at that, um, remains to be seen because, obviously, as I showed you from the box, I don't get out of bed for anything less than three chilli ratings. It's only a two chilli rating, but I am aware when I eat a McSpicy, uh, that is still my favourite McDonald's burger, that clearly it ain't nuclear hot. Right, so, bang this in. Where's my phone? Ten minutes aside. It is currently 20 past one. So 20 to 2, we should be a good uh, to go on lunch, because I'm starving, as is Robert. Robert says hello. Hello. So, yeah, this isn't about heat. This is about whether or not it tastes exactly, I find that a bit hard to believe, exactly like, or is at least a very good representation of, basically, and a lot of people's, apparently, um, my favourite burger in McDonald's. So, clock. That's, uh, there we go. Right, so, bang, off we go. In you go. Anyway, so, update on Eddie's Bar. Welcome to Eddie's Bar. I have no new additions to Eddie Bar, Eddie's Bar this week. It wasn't because I didn't want to add to it. I know space is rapidly, you know, running out on here. Real estate is clearly... Yeah, there ain't much left, but I generally didn't come across anything. However, I did crack into this with someone from work bought me um, for Christmas and there's three hot sauces in here. There's medium, hot and very hot. And obviously it's only Falls and Horses, one of my TV, favorite TV shows of all time themed set. And on the medium, it was Rodney. On the um, hot, it was um, Alfred, I believe. And then on the very, very hot, cushy, extra hot chilli sauce, we have Del Boy. Cracked into this now, it is extra hot. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh my God, I'm dying here. Now, um, it absolutely kicks this into, you know, uh, into the sun. But the thing is, this isn't nuclear hot. It's warm, it's warm. It just happens to be my favourite hot sauce um, of all time. But yeah, this is super, super hot. And definitely recommend it. Honestly, it's lush. But, but go into it knowing that it's friggin' hot. And also, I don't know what your likelihood is to be able to purchase it anymore. Because obviously, um, it was in the Christmas gift section. So, like, whether or not it exists all year round, I honestly don't know. Anyway, since I know you really look forward to it, let's check out the weather. Right, well, it's patches of sun coming through and stuff like that. It's about five degrees out there right now, so I have no idea why that's on, but it's out of my hands because personally, I don't think it's particularly cold. Um, but interesting week. So, pissed down all last night, pissed down um, most of y yesterday, but it was cool because it means, because my car was filthy when I came home from work Wednesday morning, it was absolutely covered in shit because it snowed and I drove home in the snow. And so, yeah, so the rain sorted out my car because the thing is, I own a car that's white now. Well, no, it's not white. It's peppermint, but fuck me. I never thought owning a, a white car, sorry, peppermint, means you literally have to wash it religiously once a week. Gone are the days of my old car, which was black, where you could get away with washing it, like, literally once a month. Anyway, so, it snowed. It's March. Apparently it's snowing in March. It's just another excuse to break out the big fucking propaganda climate brigade wagon stick to beat all us gullible fucking public members with because oh my god see this is real now this is dangerous now you're killing the fucking planet it never snows in much it snows in march it snowed in fucking i remember when i was in montreal people were telling me that it snowed in fucking june once it's called the weather it's a cycle it's up it's down it's just a natural process 
stop with your fucking chicken little horseshit. When every time something like this happens and you can say, oh look, it's snowing in March. We can use that to enforce our case. It's because those sweet, sweet, sweet green taxes, they won't bring themselves in. No, it snowed in March. What we fucking do? It rained in the afternoon and it was all gone by one o'clock. But not going to lie, it was a little bit hairy driving home that day. And it did make for a very good picture. I will show you um, the picture I took from up there uh, on the flat roof when I got home. I'll show you it. Sure. But the point is, I'm just sick and fucking tired of, it's unseasonably cold, it's climate change. It's unseasonably warm, it's climate change. It's completely fucking normal, it's climate change. It's like, they know that there's a large chunk of us out there who think for ourselves and realise what a load of bollocks it is, and they're determined to break us, which is, we just keep throwing fucking everything at them. At some point, they'll just be like, fine, fine, I give up. Not fucking me. Right, anyway, so, we're off. We're off, hey, a little rant like that, and we're already halfway through, or thereabouts, on the cycle. And, yeah, so, 25 past, I'm friggin' starving. Also, uh, I am enjoying the fact that this is going to be a really, really, really quick Fat Friday. Uh, mainly because I'm friggin' starving, so is Robert. But, yeah, it's just nice to have a stress-free Fat Friday. Also, I'm telling you, people, I'm telling you, Air Fryer has changed my life. The only time I use that bad boy now... Um, is for pizzas or if I absolutely have to because can't fit it all in there or I need to marinate something because I don't have a lighting for that um, in there but basically other than that since Christmas I haven't cooked in anything else but that bad boy and also it's 25 quid now I think you can get this model in Asda for 25 quid now it's not massive it's three litre but that works out for one person so seriously anyway um, what is my fire extinguisher of choice this week this week I am going with the Audi, see, because obviously I went there for that, and so <laughs> I thought I'd get some of this. Um, Asda is my favourite knockoff um, diet lilt, as you are aware, but they don't sell it in cans anymore. I don't know why, and I do not drink fizzy drinks out of bottles because it goes flat in like literally 13 seconds after you um, open it. Can you still buy those things when you put them on the top instead of the lid and pump it full like that and then stick it on its side in the fridge that's supposed to stop it going flat but makes bugger all difference? Because they were like, they were a big deal when I was a kid. They never worked, so I don't know why they were a big deal, but apparently they were. Um, so this is Vive Tropical Blast Zero Sugar for I do not like sugar, nor does Robert, as we both do not want to get fat. What's cool about this is, because I think I mentioned to you in my little rant about the wokes claiming everything we love and the politically correct game, that Lilt is no longer going to be Lilt, which is the main branded version of this, because apparently they find it a stereotype and offensive um, to the Caribbean. Why did I say Caribbean? I'm English. Caribbean. Um, and it's like the, the image that it presents by being called Lilt and all the old commercials and stuff like that. So I'm going to buy this one from now on indefinitely, because they've still got the image uh, that is associated with, well, the Caribbean and what we associate with Lilt. So fuck it. I'm buying this from now on because I'm just sick in time of all this virtue signaling horse shit by a bunch of the fucking very few people thinking that they've got to ruin the party for everyone else. What time is it? We're on seven minutes. Hardly seems to be worth going next door right now, but meh, three minutes of Rick Stein is better than no minutes of Rick Stein. So we are coming up to ten minutes. I don't know why I show you, I'm pretty sure you probably believe me. So, 10 minutes, uh, let's crack this bad boy out. We're going to flip it, but obviously, we're going to take a look at what it looks like. Smell wise, I cannot smell anything in it. It's a bit odd, it's a bit strange. Um, I don't know what's expecting to smell, but can't smell anything. Not a hint of spice, not even a hint of chicken. Um, so, anyway, let's have a look and flip these bad boys. Nope. Oh, actually, no. There's a little pinch, I would say, of heat there, you know, it certainly doesn't smell like a curry, but we weren't expecting it to. Top's quite crispy. That's quite hefty, actually. That is quite hefty. See, ordinarily, I would cook this at 200 degrees uh, Celsius, for focus, thank you, for we care not for the Fahrenheit, but as you can see, I'm doing it at 180. But that's because this is how uh, the person that the article mentioned called for it to be. So, where's my phone? 
Oh, bollocks. Nope, are we still there? We're still good. So we got another 10 minutes, so how are we doing for time? So yeah, near enough for a pinch after 22. Anyway, anyway, I forgot to show you the bags of crisps I picked up for lunch uh, next week. Because uh, if you recall, I don't take my lunch till 3.15 in the morning and I start work at 10 o'clock. So in order to be able to make it that massive amount of time, um, I also have a big bag of crisps. I share it with a couple of mates. I always try and buy an interesting bag of crisps, preferably hot and spicy or something like that. And I share it with a couple of people at work. I'm not going to lie, me and Robert, you know, punish off most of it because it's for us to play our lunch to uh, 3.15. But I think I found a couple of interesting ones this week. In Morrison's, um, jalapeno dirty fries. I'm all over that. So what do they taste like? I mean, obviously jalapeno, but how do you make a crisp taste like dirty fries? Hello, we'll find out. Well, I'll find out and then I'll completely forget about it next week. So you won't find out. These were a pound and change. When I was in Iceland, because obviously Iceland, and you probably realise that from this series of videos, have an exclusive range by Chiquito, which is a Mexican, Mexican Tex, Mex um, chain, and they had Texas barbecue flavour tortilla chips. I do like a good tortilla chip. Unfortunately, I can't. These were expensive. These were 150, maybe 175, I think. Um, take that with a pinch of salt. Um, the only problem is I can't eat a dip when I'm at work, can I? Um, because obviously I won't be, I'll be in my work area, I won't be, you know, in the cafeteria. Which sucks, because, yeah, I do like a tortilla chip, you bet, you, you've got to account for all, it's because I'm ravenous. Um, you got to eat with a, a dip, and, um, the, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. <laughs> the hot and spicy by Doritos is absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you what isn't absolutely fantastic, um, is I had them at work last week, an exclusive crisp, um, no, no, actually I think they're available in all of the big four, but uh, yeah, they're limited edition is what I meant to say, not exclusive, excuse me, itchy eyeball and or socket. Um, Doritos, uh, Burger King, um, Whopper flavour crisps, taste fuck all like a Whopper, they taste exactly the same as their um, flame grill steak flavour they had a couple of years ago that they got rid of, nothing else tastes different. It's alright if you like flame grill steak, it just tastes nothing like a, a Whopper, so save your money, consumer information by Dave. You're welcome. Anyway, what are we doing? What are we doing? We got eight minutes. I'm gonna piss off and finish the very end of Rakestein. Okay, so we got a little bit more time, but it just suddenly dawned on me that I probably want to toast my bun. I am aware that that's not the biggest bun, but that was just down to the fact that I didn't have anything else in the supermarket. And as I said, don't see the point in sesame seeds. So, right, got a minute and a half. Again. Doesn't really. I'll have a cheeky smell. Yeah, there's a there's a little bit of a pong. Pong. <laughs> that's an attractive sound there, isn't it? Um, when I open it, but I'm quite surprised that I can't smell anything else in here. Sorry for the spin. Try not to uh, vomit. But yeah, so we got a minute. I'm just waiting on that and that. Righty, let's get my bun. Right, I've only lightly toasted it, as you can see. I don't want any burns and shits on it. Actually, that's come up pretty good. Yeah, possibly could have got a bigger um, bun, but fuck it. First world problems. First world problems. Right, so... Hang on, I want that there because I want to put the burger on there as well. And then, obviously... Who obviously thought a chopping board on a 45 degree incline was a good idea? Mayo, get rid of that. And lettuce. This is just because um, I'm trying to replicate what it's like when you get it from McDonald's. But otherwise I would have put tomato, onion, red onion, uh, probably relish and everything. Anyway, so we are currently on... Oh shit, we've got a minute over. But I can live with that. it look like yeah see it's funny you can only smell it when you open it right so obviously we're going to leave one in here for, i'm going to go with a small one because it's not going to make my bun choice look quite so stupid but now just going to quickly bang this together i'll come back to you in a minute trust me i'll be having two but i just want to put this together before it gets cold yeah we're going to have considerable overhang height however i'm gonna cut a piece off 
so I can eat it without any dressing. I sincerely think that that, um, yeah, that's right, light. Um, it's going to make any difference to its taste. But, you know, these are the rules. These are the rules. Bosch. Be quite, oh, running out. Quite generous. Because they are at McDonald's, I guess. And also, I want the lettuce to stick to it, so... Not the prettiest of burgers, is it? Right, so, screw it. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. So, first things first. We're going to take the piece that we cut off. It's a decent chunk of chicken. I will say that. It's a decent chunk of chicken. Remember, drowning here. This is not about being hot or anything like that. This is, is it a decent facsimile? He says that, and it's rapidly losing pieces of it to the floor now, um, of the McDonald's Mug Spicy. So, yeah, let's find out. really really crunchy on the outside and it's gone straight to the back of my throat that's warm now I had a um, look that's quite warm actually it's not curry hot or anything like that now uh, the end of my tongue's not gone but yeah it's gone straight to the back of my throat quite impressed with that for a boiger for a boiger that's only got a two chili rating but I did have a McSpicy last Wednesday and um, do you know what Yes, the patty itself is really rather quite close. I shit you not. The coating is amazing. The coating is really, really, really crunchy, but everything comes out really crunchy when you cook it in an air fryer. But yeah, um, I would say the heat is lashed on very, very... <coughs> that's not the heat. I've got a dry throat now. Um, impressed um, at the heat level of that for a chicken burger from a supermarket. Yeah, I'm going to take a massive bite now, so hopefully then I'll know if it goes to the end of my tongue or anything like that, but the outside is pretty much bang on identical to the McDonald's, and the heat level is on a par, and they taste pretty, pretty damn close, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, palate cleanse. So obviously now we're going to take a mouthful and see what it's like if you get a bit of everything. Excuse me. Right. How am I going to eat this? Well, obviously with my mouth. Yeah, I know. Walked into that one. Let's go for this bit here at the front, because therefore I'm going to get a bit of lettuce, a bit of burger, and a bit of mayo. Excuse me. You know what? That's warm. Honestly, that's quite warm. I'm really quite surprised. It's very, I would say, maybe a little bit hotter than the McDonald's one, but it definitely tastes pretty bang on. Once you get the mayo and the lettuce in there, this is a really, really decent facsimile. Would I say it's identical? No. Um, but it's not far off. This is a really decent facsimile. Excuse me. Sorry, Floor, but I want to get a massive gobble here. Yeah, decent shizen facsimile of a McSpicy. There's that lash of heat. That's good. This is nice. This is probably the hottest burger I've had. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely the hottest chicken burger I've had. But well played, Audi. Well played, or gourmet. Out, well, whatever way you're an exclusive to Audi, so you're an Audi product. Yeah, well played. This is fantastic. Seriously, if you like it much spicy. Do you what? Right. Identical to look spicy? No. Hot and spicy? Yes. Um, pretty damn close. I mean, obviously, 
he's probably said, you know, new burger from Audi, exactly the same as the McSpicy, because he's a famous TikToker, excuse me, Windy Pops, and he wants views, because, you know, it's all about that sweet, sweet ad revenue. But I would say, it's a very decent near facsimile. And when I say that, I don't want it to put you off, because I don't mean, like, it's in the ballpark. Um, I have no idea where to do that with my hand, but I mean, yeah, it, you clearly know um, what it's trying to, um, trying to replicate, who its heroes are, if you will. Anyway, it's always a lovely one thing, especially if you love the McSpicy and you have tried these, or you tried these and you've never even had a McSpicy, um, or either way, but yeah. What do you think of this? I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. Anyways, always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.